It's an iconic drive to America's oldest national park, but recently U.S. Highway 89 has become a hot spot of dangerous driving and accidents due to an increased volume of traffic. I was actually out here covering this topic and came across an accident scene you can see there behind me in the southbound lanes outside of Gardner. Chris Desborough has been riding motorcycles for 50 years. I first joined the Air Force in the UK at 15 and a half, and we had to, we had to hide our motorcycles because we weren't allowed them. Originally from Wales, Desborough moved to Emigrant Montana five years ago, drawn in by his life passion. I've been doing wildlife photography now for probably 30 plus years. On July 5th, Desborough says he was heading north on 89 to Livingston, going about 60 miles per hour, when a car passing traffic tried to make another pass and hit him from behind. And I'm still not sure, even today, if the vehicle actually ran over me. Um, it felt like it did. And then the next thing I felt was just, and saw, was being dragged up the road and then slide in with the bike on top of me. The car that hit him was going nearly 100 miles an hour. Abrasion on the right knee. I've got an abrasion on my upper thigh right here. Uh, abrasion on the left hand and a broken finger. But what really bothers Desborough? They fled the accident scene. Accidents happen, but the fact that somebody left the scene is, is pretty sad. His crash is just one of many on Montana highways this summer. This summer has been very busy for us. We've seen a, a huge increase. Between Livingston and Yellowstone's north entrance, Montana Highway Patrol Sergeant Jay Nelson says they have clocked 47 crashes so far in 2023. We could be approaching record numbers of motor vehicle crashes uh, between Livingston and Gardner. And data shows there's an uptick in deadly accidents for motorcycles and on two-lane highways. A majority of that is speed-related. The driver that hit Desboro was ultimately arrested and charged with 11 misdemeanors. Basically, my debris trail was about 260 feet. So, so that's how far I slid on the road. <laughs> Desboro says he has no doubts about what saved his life. I 100% believe I would not be here today if it wasn't for the helmet and the jacket. In Emigrant Jackie Coffin, MTN News.